everybody just shocked. Just they can't believe it, cause it's 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 shocking, you know. Just for out of nowhere, a cla another classmate passing. That's you know, I don't I don't know what too much to say about that. Well, tonight, friends are lost for words after gun violence claimed the life of one of their classmates. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. Pine Bluff police say 22-year-old Amanda Lee was shot and killed Tuesday. It happened around 930 at Interstate 530 and Camden Road. Authorities say the woman was sitting in a car with a man when someone shot them. Today, Fox 16's Rochelle Turner spoke with friends who knew Amanda. Rochelle. Well, Donna, Kevin, her friends our friend Stephen Harris says he still can't believe Amanda Lee is gone. Harris says Lee was always smiling and laughing, just fun to be around. He says her loving spirit and fun personality will be missed. She was just a good person to be around, you know. And, you know, everything like that, she didn't bother nobody. Stephen Harris remembers the day he and Amanda Lee were classmates at Dollarway High School in Pine Bluff. You could be walking up to her, she would just start laughing. They'd be like, what are you laughing at? He says Lee was from New Orleans, Louisiana, and had a Cajun accent. She used to say stuff like, when she first came down, hey, you have some paper? Or, or she used to ask the teacher, can I go get some water? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. She, and I used to be like, what did you say? Harris says he graduated with Lee in 2015. Their friendship strong after high school. She was a sweet person, real sweet person. He can't believe the friend he walked the halls with was shot and killed Tuesday night. Not Amanda, you know, because she didn't bother too many people. He says friends posted about the tragic news on Facebook. I even called her, you know, just to confirm that. And when I didn't get an answer, then that's when I knew that everything, it was, it was true. Having to deal with the loss of another classmate, Harris says the violence needs to stop. Because of uh, innocent bystanders being hurt for no apparent reason, it's really, it's really, you know, it's, it's just pitiful for someone to want to put harm someone like that. And says justice will be served for sweet Amanda. What's done in the dark comes to the light. Now, Harris says he and other people from the class of 2015 plan to have a visual or a honor in honor of, or a balloon release in honor of Amanda. Hmm. That's a very sad story. I'm wondering, were you able to get any updates from police? What are they telling you? There's very limited information, but they have released the other victim's name of the male who was in the car. He's 26-year-old David Smith, and police say right now he's recovering in the hospital. And right now they're hoping to use surveillance footage from just, there's a, there's a gas station out there, a McDonald's and a church to see if they picked up anything Tuesday night to see if they can kind of piece this homicide together and figure out what happened. Fingers are crossed on that, yeah. definitely. Thank you.